You guys ever read Nahum? Have you? Nahum? Nahum? You ever read Nahum, RJ? No. <coughs> yeah, My hand has been that long ago. Mm. <coughs> I don't want to go. It's only, what, two or three chapters? Three chapters, I think. Please, you remember what it's about? Mm. Mm. It's about Nahum? No. Um, basically, it's about um, the Lord's vengeance on Nineveh. After the feast lasted. After Nineveh, the Ninevites, well, was that the capital of uh, Nineveh? Was the capital of what? Assyria. Well, intended mainly for a Judean audience, the bulk of Nahum the prophecy was directed against the Assyrian Empire, represented by its capital, Nineveh. Yes. <coughs> so. Uh, It's a pretty sombering read, if you guys remember it all. I don't remember. Um, yeah, it's, okay. it's, it's a pretty sombering read. You know, and the, the Ninevites, you know, took heed to Jonah when he was there. What's need mean? Heed. Oh, heed. What's need mean? To listen to. Yep. You know, did what he told them they needed to do, and, and they did. <laughs> But over time, it sounded like they just slid back into their old ways. Um, but anyway, that's a pretty sombering read. But in verse 7 of chapter 1, um, it says, The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them, but trust in him. Again, chapter or verse 7, The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. Again, reading all of Nahum, that's pretty encouraging. It's pretty encouraging anyway, that the Lord knows them that trust in him. You know. put it modernly, I guess, God's got our back. Has God always been good to us? Mm -hmm. When we're going through a difficulty, a hard time, struggle, whatever, does it always seem like it? <laughs> it doesn't, does it? Yes. It doesn't always seem like it. Because we're so smart and intelligent, you know, if God <laughs> would just do it this way, <clears throat> you know, everything would be taken care of, and this problem would be done, and that would be taken care of, and this situation would be, you know, everything would be good. Right. And until when God does take care of the problem, and if we're wise enough to step back and look at it for a minute which I think we try to do, we can go, oh. if he had answered our prayer or dealt with our situation like this, this good thing wouldn't have happened. You know, this blessing wouldn't have come or... This bad thing would have happened. This bad thing would have happened. <coughs> God knows. God knows them that trust in Him. He knows us. Mm -hmm. Do we trust God? Do you trust God, Zebulun? You do. Do you trust God, Simeon? You do. Let's go around the room. Do you trust God, Josiah? <coughs> do you trust God, RJ? Yes. yes. Finally, somebody. Do you <laughs> trust God, Mama? Amen. Amen. Do you, do you trust, trust God, Daddy? Mama, do you trust God? I do trust God. Do you trust God? I do. Um, the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust him. What's a stronghold, RJ? A fortress. A fortress. A place of 
defense of rust. Refuge. Place safety. of safety, yeah. Yep. Um, the Christian safe place, since that's a ter you know, term in today's political world. You know, where, where were the, the Hebrew when they left Egypt? Yeah. God had them, at one point he had them between the Red Sea and the Pillar of Smoke or Fire. Was it Fire? Or fire by night. Well, Fire by, by night, day. but what, what, what was... I don't know if it was a cloud of smoke, but just a cloud by day and fire by night. He opened, but he had them in a safe place. He opened up the sea for the for the ones that were running away. And when when um, Pharaoh came, closed it up. No, at that at that point, you know, they they, they could see the cloud from their chariots. You know, the cloud of dust coming. They knew they were you know in trouble. They couldn't go that way because of the ocean, the sea. God had a pillar of fire in between them and and uh, Pharaoh, and the Red Sea. So they were kind of stuck in the middle here. I wonder. If, I wonder if they felt safe at that point, you know. But you know, they they could. They knew Pharaoh's army was on its way. <clears throat> but I wonder if the Hebrews actually felt like they were in a safe place. We go that way, we drowned. If we stay or go that way, Pharaoh's army's got us. They were they were in a safe place. Yeah. They were in a safe place. Yeah. Yeah. Dad, Dad, Dad didn't want them to drown, so he opened up the sea. He did. And when Pharaoh Johnny came, Pharaoh came with it. Then when when then when Dad saw Pharaoh, they were all through. Dad. All right, they, they, they went through. Yeah, they made now it through. Now Pharaoh's coming. And closed it back up, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but the, yeah. Again, the Lord is good. Mm -hmm. A stronghold in the day of trouble. So in the day of trouble, he is our safe place. Mm -hmm. he's, our, he's our refuge. Right? He's... Mm -hmm. He's where we've got to run to. Mm -hmm. And he knoweth them that trust in him. Well, if we trust in God, keep our trust in God, he knows us. Mm -hmm. He knows what we need. He knows what we need better than we do. Let's pray. Mm -hmm. Father, we love and praise you today, Lord. <coughs> Excuse me. And God, we just, uh, we know, God, that you are good. You've always been so good to us. Father, I know that you know, whenever we go through a struggle or a hard time or inconvenience, I know we don't always think that, that you're there, but God, you know, you are there for us. God, we do trust in you, and we do know that you know what's best for us. Mm -hmm. Father, I pray that we would just continue to, to learn and to trust, Lord. You, you always know what's best. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we love and we praise you today. In your high name we pray. Amen. Amen.